What's going on everyone? Hope you all are having a great day. Today, I'm going to be hitting a back and biceps day at Gold's Gym. Now, if you want the key to building up an insane back, the truth is, is it's about finding a routine that you can stick with consistently. There's a lot of people who are going to the gym nowadays and stuff who get burnt out of the routine that they're in. And they don't like all the exercises that they're doing. Um, you know, their body is almost built and suited for a different kind of routine. For me, I start off my back day with weighted pull-ups. Not a lot of people do that. That's not a common thing for everyone to just start off their back and biceps day with weighted pull-ups. However, it's what I like to do the most and it's something that I can stay consistent with. So I'm able to see tremendous back growth from that. So the point is, is just find a routine that really fits you. Find the exercises that you enjoy doing and start to stick with those. So without further ado, follow along on the workout routine that I'll be going through. Maybe incorporate some of the exercises that I'll be doing into your back day if you feel that they are suited for you. And uh, I will see you guys at the gym. We're going to actually hit a quick Dunkin' Donuts run before the lift at Gold's. Uh, I just had a protein shake this morning. I thought that was going to be enough to tie me over, but ultimately I'm feeling pretty hungry. So I'm going to get carved up and uh, yeah, we're going to have a great workout. So we are going to start off with pull-ups. I'm just warming up to activate all the muscle fibers and get the full muscle recruitment in my back, especially when I start weighted pull-ups, you don't want to tear anything. So I'm doing just regular grip pull-ups and then now I'm going to do some chin-ups as well just to get the blood flowing and once again get that full activation. I am now moving into my first set of weighted pull-ups with just 25. This is my warm-up set. I usually do four or five with the 25s. Then I move to a 45. I also just warm up with about four to five reps with the 45 pound weight. And then I move into my top set, which is going to be 70 pounds. So that's a 45 and a 25. And I just basically try and eke out as many reps as I possibly can with this. I'm going to do this twice. Usually the second time that I hit this, I can do more reps than I can the first time. And then I'm going to do a back down set after I hit my two top sets of just some pull-ups. There are so many different variations that you can do of pull-ups to activate the back, activate the biceps, and overall just blow up your V-taper. So for my weighted pull-ups, I do two of my heaviest set, and then I do one back down set after that, which is what you guys just saw. And then we're going to be moving into the uh, uh, bent over rows with dumbbells. Okay, so as you heard, we're going to be moving into the dumbbell bent over rows. This is also one of my most favorite exercises. I really enjoy doing things with free weights. I feel like I can manipulate the weights properly to target the specific muscle groups that you want to target. Now I did a warm-up set with 50s. I'm now going to 70s, which is going to be my heavier set, and I'm going to do a lot of reps with these. Truth be told, with your back, honestly, you can just stick with two or three core exercises and really just spam those weights and build up an insane back with, once again, two or three core exercises. Honestly, it's just about mastering the basics and building up strength in those exercises. Echoes of your words crashing into me Drown me in your lies And there's no way to breathe And my walls are keeping down I am safe without the sound of you oh, That was not my entire workout. I also did hammer curls. I did a cable pull down and I did a, a straight bar curl as well. Um, as you can see, the forearms are still pumped from the workout. I appreciate all the love and support. I didn't film those sections because there was a lot of people in the gym and I just didn't quite feel comfortable yet, you know, filming with a whole bunch of other people around. Um, but yeah, so I appreciate all the love and support on the videos. And there's a lot of different exercises that you can do even with just pull-ups that are going to basically blow up your biceps. And I'll break that down in the next back and bicep video that I do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.